Welcome to Two Feathers Restorations and Design. This week we are going to bring you up to date with what is going on in the shop as far as the restoration with the 1948 Silversides bus. Uh, if you haven't been following us, please do like us and subscribe. You can get these updates on this project as they continue. So we have a series of videos um, as our volunteers as well as the staff at Two Feathers Restorations uh, works on this bus. Uh, it is part of the Traveling Museum uh, housed here at Two Feathers. So the RV Hall of Fame Traveling Museum is working on this bus to restore and bring it up to date to a modern RV but yet keep the heritage that this bus is and keep it looking like an original Greyhound. So we originally were not going to remove the front roof uh, interior, um, but we have decided to go ahead with that. Um, there is some dimples in the roof due to the tree damage. Uh, you can actually kind of see it in this photo here. So Jill has been uh, working at that uh, as well as with Ray, uh, removing the screws, some of the broken away, such as that uh, will happen with a vehicle of this age. Um, you can see a lot of this insulation has just, just kind of deteriorated over time. Uh, Ray did inform me that there was a lot of mice debris. There is some nuts and whatnot up in here. Um, really, really potent in smell. Um, we thought we had gotten rid of all the mice uh, debris. We were wrong. So this is one area that you found it. Um, you can see there's a clump of uh, wires here. Uh, there is a control panel that goes in this area uh, for your uh, driver's light and whatnot. Um, your harnesses come together here. There's a couple variations of harnesses here, uh, as well as on the passenger side, we'll see in a moment. But uh, up here is also the controls for your fans, for the driver. Um, so there's a few different controls that go, go up here. Uh, this is your air duct uh, for your defroster. It is metal. Uh, which is great, so we, you don't have to worry about it falling apart. Um, you can see the, the textured material. That is actually um, kind of like a soundproofing and rustproofing, but in this case it's not steels, but they still sprayed it more for sound. You can see those dents in the roof there as well. Um, so we'll pop those out. You can see the debris from the mice that they left behind. Um, you can see some of the guts of the original destination sign and this will be all cleaned up and restored and uh, put back in so we, we were able to salvage that from another bus the destination sign you can see our, our video of that and you can also see the uh, wiring here as well so you do have a clearance light over here but there's a few more wires so we would have to refer back to our wiring diagram to verify it but Jill has worked at taking apart all the different trim pieces here and Jill's gonna be talking about that in a minute here um, but also gains access um, taking all the fancy stainless trim off to allow us to do a really nice paint job up front here um, obviously you want to take off the trim pieces um, that line everything and cover up the seams for all of the individual pieces um, three different types of seams uh, seem to be the, the going theme. The first one is, uh, if you look right here, there's a track that's screwed in and the metal seam material just pops right on top to, on top of it. And then the uh, another type of seam style was uh, this same seam metal and slid in the back side of it is this and it is secured with a nut on the back side so that was uh, particularly difficult to get to just for the sake of access but that's one of the um, seam covers and we also have and we call those T fasteners in the automotive world these spring clips that pop into holes and just sit nicely. All right, and so Jill has everything kind of laid out here carefully um, so that we can see the relation of where it goes.
And so we have our front panels here. And uh, one of the nice parts is that they are metal. So now we can take these out, uh, strip them with the stripper and paint them. If you look carefully, one thing I notice here is you can see that bubbled up material. That's because this is a welded panel. So as they bent this panel, it had that seam. So they actually had to uh, do a bit of work on these. So these are not just a, uh, a simple stamp. It's, it's custom work. Um, one of the panels we wanted to preserve is part of the original ceiling. Uh, originally, we had no intention of taking this section of the bus apart, um, but ultimately decided to go for it. And this is masonite, um, pretty brittle. So this will be used as a pattern. We've got to make all new ones for the whole entire ceiling throughout the bus since we're going to keep some of the character. Um, so we thought that the duct were coming up the side of the bus was a composite material. But what did we find out uh, as you we were taking these apart? Yeah. It's all metal. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that was a pretty cool discovery. Yeah. Um, the primers that they had on it just made it really suspicious. Um, and it's all very like one on top of the other. It's a very specific set of you take this out to take this out to take that out. Um, this was the first one, first piece we managed to get out. Obviously, unsecured clothes. So are we going to call this the Silver Side Jigsaw? Yeah. <laughs> they don't list on the package how many pieces of puzzle it is, but... <laughs> so, um, Jill made another discovery, which she's going to show you what she yeah. originally found here so in a second. You just... Thankfully, this was just sat on here. You've, you've got this, the six screws securing it, but once those are up, you just pop it up. Um, and, and the rail is secured to a large bolt right here. It had this insulation on it, and below that, a lovely mouse latrine full of, uh, what do we call it, brown rice? <laughs> <laughs> to put it nicely, so this is an integral um, component here. So um, directly center of your screen is where the heat would come up from below. Directly below us here is the original radiator for the heating system. And um, it would come up through this tube. Uh, then we head up over into this corner and you can see this secondary grate here. Um, uh, then it would go up vertically up through that tube. And now it's in a cavity here. And through these areas here, if you had all of your overhead bins in place that would allow the the heat to dissipate above your head now if you don't know anything about the bus um but you've seen pictures and models up front there's a grate in the roof and that's what this pan is here um this has access to the outside uh air intake and so underneath here you would have a fan that we've already removed that allows you to bring fresh air in. So either this ductwork would have fresh air, fresh air or heat, but also through the same tubing gains access to what would have been the air conditioning as well. So heat or air coming through here. Um, through the center floor uh, where the seats were is other ducting that you can't see, but where you see this cover plate right here, this little strip, uh, that would allow that to come up through the seats as well um, and dissipate. So depending on the, the, the bus, some of the buses had and some didn't. So we are in the process, if you haven't been following our videos, getting this bus ready for a paint job. 
It is the fall. It is getting late. It is now November uh, 1st, I think, today. Second. Second. Oh, second. Um, but we still have a potential for later this week to have one more last opportunity to possibly paint this area of the bus. Um, all these other pieces can go in our blasting box and be blasted and painted. Um, so this is our current update. Uh, Jill has done a lot of sanding. Um, more to do yet. <laughs> yeah, there's more to do. Uh, we have our volunteer uh, that, that's been here as well working on this part of the bus, Mitch, and he helped strip some of the paint as well. So a lot of work, uh, but it's going to be a great payoff uh, when we're all done. So what are you working on down there, Ray? I'm trying to get this one piece of trim off so I can open up the rest of the, the heating duct. <laughs> ah. Now, one of the things with um, a lot of these screws is due to the age, um, the screws will get brittle. Um, so we're, we're experiencing, or they'll harden in certain types of screws. So we are experiencing some uh, difficulty um, where some have snapped off. But removing a lot of this trim that's uh, stainless like this, we can polish it. Um, and it just allows us to do a nicer paint job in the end. And um, we'll just be a lot more happier. What, uh, Jill is going to talk about the visor. Um, in case you were uh, planning on removing yours, Jill had some tips. Yeah, the, uh, these screws were nice and easy to get out, obviously. Um, however, this end is secured with a nut on the back side, um, and that is going to be very, kind of a pain in the took us um, process because what I had to do is this metal was still up here, so I had to reach in through here to reach right here, and I did, couldn't get any tools. Uh, any ratchet tools in there there was no space so I had to uh, very manually reach in there and because it was right up against the uh, defroster duct so it was that that is going to be a fun part of the process so our next stage with these visors is finding a material to replace the original these have definitely shrunk um, through the years. Um, I don't know if we'll just find a metal maybe that's nice and thin that we can just put in there and maybe have some fun with a sticker or something on the backside later on with uh, two feathers on there or something. Who knows? It's fun for it. Yeah, so next fun is taking those apart because those have specialized pins that um, assemble them. I don't think there's really any screws that uh, yeah, no, allow us to take them apart. So, All right, so that's our update here. Um, more to come in the future, but uh, that's that for, for now. Thanks for joining us. Yes, it is cold outside. Dexter is shivering while we're filming this segment of the video. Oh, he looks like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> He's shaking. I think it's time to go indoors. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button at the just below this uh, video here and also follow us so you get notification uh, when we post another great video, uh, whether it's a vintage trailer restoration, a van conversion, uh, whether it's an RV or otherwise, as well as another bus update uh, on the restoration. Uh, we like to thank our volunteers as well. So do join us at our next video and thank you and please share.